Hello, we're back. Today we're going to experiment different type of, of um, brushes. We're going to create a trees, different types of trees using different type of brushes, the leaves. Um, I'm going to show you how I create my leaves and what's the best um, brush to use. Um, we're going to create a different ways to do our trees so you can use any color you want um, this is just my background that I'm trying to do I'm using a titanium white and the marsh black just to kind of show you This is just a background, so you can use any kind of brush that you are comfortable with. Okay. You can add a little bit of um, ocean green in the top section that's just one of our background okay right first if you have a bigger area that you're trying to do we're just showing a smaller um, area this time I'm using a canvas paper. You can use um, any type of canvas. This is just a demonstration on how I do my trees. All right, if you're using a bigger surface, so you pretty much use a bigger brushes. But um, now I'm using the flat brush, the medium flat brush number. I think this is number. Uh, one half mm so let's do our trunks so I, I'm using the mixture of marsh black and white then I will switch with my brush to the detailed brush for the limbs since we are using a, a smaller surface area here but if I will be using like let's say 16 by 20 canvas or bigger so I'll, I'm not gonna be using the detail brush I will be using probably the um, the round brush so since our this section is so small Right, I'm adding a little bit of burnt shanna in my trunks and the limbs. So I'm just adding that way. Okay, black, marsh black, titanium white. And burnt china in there. So you can also add a if you want a reflection added to your painting, you can just kind of like make your ground in there in the surface. Just do like that, um, and then just a gray version of your trunk then you just do like this so 
And then you just do it like this. You can add blue if you want your your water to be blue or just use black and white if you want but I'm mixing a little bit of hint of blue in there so just kind of like to to emphasize that oh this is the water and I have a reflection in there We're not really um, focused on our reflection, so it's because where our focus is the, the tree itself. So, but this is just an additional if you want reflection in your in your painting, and then you can just add a, a streak of marsh black and kind of like make it like zigzag, kind of like wave. So it kind of, it looks like a a water a water section in there, like waving water. It might not look like a waving water, but and then just do your um, white, your your titanium white. in the reflection in there. And then just like that. Okay. All right, let's go back to our trees. Um, if I would use, a, a mostly I use the filbert brush. It's, it's easier for me to use the filbert brush. Um, I'll show you how it looks. If I do my leaves, it will look like a concave if I use a filbert Oops. so it's faster and quicker for me to do if I do um, trees I usually use filbert brush so I'll try to show it to you what what it look like um, let's try to use pink leaves on this particular trees and then later on we'll show more uh, with using a different brushes all right so since I'm using a pink um, leaves um, the darker version of my leaves I use a mixture of the Shanna burnt Shanna and the pink so I will just dab it just like that remember this is a filbert so I'm just dabbing it like that so just like that then mush them together okay so that type of trees I'm trying to um, portray in here and show all right that's the darker um, part of our leaves then I will be showing the pink part so I wipe my brush and then I load the pink uh, it's a very opera rose but you can use a different color your favorite color you can use your favorite colors so I'm just kind of like filling those kind of space in there but not all of it so I still want to show those dark part so, just like that and remember the outer part I want it lighter lighter version of what we're trying to do just adding a pink in there and I usually use three tone three colors 
three tone. Also, we did the darker part, which is the mixture of our burnt um, china and then our regular pink. And then the second one would be just the pink. Then now I want my pink lighter. So my pink, I will be mixing it with the portrait pink or you can just use the titanium white if you want. So I'm just kind of like um, toning it down. So now I'll be adding that pink. It's very light, you know, just here and there. And remember the outer part of our tree are lighter. So I'm just adding it that way, not too much. And then for the last part, I will be using the titanium white. So I'll be just adding titanium white. If you don't want titanium white, like pure titanium white, you can mix it with the the pink but I want you to see the, the, the difference that's why I'm kind of showing it really titanium white but we can mix it with we can mix it with small pink so it's not too white so just follow your clumps your cluster of your um, leaves is in there so make sure the outer layer is lighter so just keep adding those so if you want a fluffy tree that's how you create your threes and of course we we want additional colors in our surface so we just kind of like dab in there just dab your pink and it's just kind of portraying that some of the leaves are falling in there and it's just yeah so that's just how how you add a little bit of colors in your um, surface just like that and if you want another addition to your painting you can just use a, a small your regular pink get your regular pink and then just like that random here and there just additional to your um, painting so that that's it it's very simple um, if you want to continue your reflection you can just kind of try to use the same color but add it with more white so that that is it so we're going to create the other trees in here using a different brush. So this one is Filbert. We use Filbert in this one. This is Filbert brush. So that's Filbert. Okay. Now we're we're still using the same brush for our background. I will be using the the flat brush but I want my background a different color so this time I'll be using a portrait pink so I'll be using a portrait pink sorry I'll be using a portrait pink and then the ocean green All right so I'll be using portrait pink sorry there's a black on it and then ocean green and titanium white so those three colors I was trying to do for my um, background and this um, tree so just, but you can use any color you like this is just a demonstration Then I grab my um, brown for my surface. That's my surface in there. Okay. And then I'll grab my 
detail brush again. Um, I'm using a burnt umber for my trunks instead of the black, gray, and um, shana in there. I'm, I'm using the umber. And if you don't want it straight, you can make it like, um, let's, let's erase that part. If you want it crooked or like this kind of trees, you can. You can do that way, you know. The trees is going that way. I'm adding a little bit of marsh black. Keep adding my branches. All right, that will be my tree. And then I want this to be, um, let's see, a red. I want it red tree or leaves. I want it red leaves. So I'll be using the cadmium red for our leaves all right we'll use the instead of the flat no instead of the filbert that we use for this one i will be using this round brush so round brush for our second trees i'm mixing the the um shana and our red for our darker leaves Remember, I, I like to use three tone of my color, three to four tones of values. So I'll just same thing like what we did in this section. I'll dab it and then just kind of like random, randomly here, adding my darker section of my leaves. Then I wipe my brush. Then I use just that red one. No mixture, just just that red, cadmium red. It's a little brighter than what we did. So it should pop the color. So just add it everywhere. So just dabbing it that way. okay so now i want the lighter next color i'm mixing this cadmium red with our yellow so i'll mix them or if you have the cadmium um orange you can just go ahead and use that cadmium orange if you like so then i will use that lighter version in here so it's just like a a hint of um, values in our trees okay so that would be my tree and then if I want another um, value I usually use four different kind of values one is the darker red mixed with the brown then our cadmium red then cadmium red mixed with yellow then now the cadmium red with the yellow mixed with titanium white for the lightest color that we're going to use for our leaves it's in the outer section so make sure our outer section is the lightest color and then here like like the light hit those section so those are our lighter section and make sure you add the leaves in the surface you know just 
and then if you want again if you want to do reflection just do this reflection if you like you know yeah if you want to add those you can add a reflection and then do your um, water reflection so just like that but again we're not we're not focused on our reflection we're focused on our trees and how to create a tree with different brush brushes using different brushes and so this is a fill bit filbert this is a round brush okay and that's a round round brush okay so that's a round brush and the last one that we're going that I'm going to show you would be hold on okay I will be showing you if I can find that brush. Let's see, the most people used um, the fan brush to do the tree. If I can find the fun brush, let's see if I can't find my fun brush. Instead of using a fun brush, I will just be using the very, very um, so I have different types of brushes. One are like smooth brush and one are one are like very um coarse brush. So so this is the difference. One is soft, very soft, and one is very coarse. So I'll use this one for our third um, demonstration of the three leaves oh never mind I found my fun brush all right let's just use our fun brush all right again let's create our background okay right, I want my background to be white and yellow maybe white and yellow so mix with some hint of um, red in there so it's, it's like an orange kind version so I want it that way okay So I have a um, yellow background and like an orange surface. Right, let's go back to our detailed brush for our trunks. Right, right now I will be using, let's see, just a Shana. Let's add a mixture of green in there. The trunks. Add some black so we can get. Yeah, we have this type of trees in our backyard. It's not just one big trunk, it's like multiple sprouting. Alright, so 
then let's do if you again if you want a reflection on your trees you can right, let's darken our surface adding that shana okay if you want your reflection just add your reflection in there use the fun brush for this this tree um, I want to use the cobalt blue for the leaves All right so I am loading a cobalt blue so I will just oops oops sorry so I'll go just randomly Dabbing my my brush like that. For uh, your leaves. So you can play uh, um, your brushes on um, what are the best brush to use and what are your favorite brush to do a trees mm -hmm. so now I'm done with my dark section I'll be using the ocean green mixed with the cobalt blue so that will be my second and color in there. Just dabbing it like that. And then I will mix the ocean green with my titanium white. So. That's for my lighter section of my trees. So. Right. Then you can use just the titanium white if you want, but to me that's, that's pretty good, but let's try doing the titanium white. Yeah, just small here and there. not really much of a difference anyways but that would be our um, and then you can highlight your your uh, trunk just grab you the the ocean green and just kind of highlight it in there not all of it just some parts I like this ocean green when I do my trees just to kind of like extra addition color to our trunks especially trunks because it's like a moss on our tree trunks it adds um, beauty to, to it so and of course don't forget the the surface we're trying to say hey some of those leaves are falling and it's in the surface it is now in there so we're trying to kind of just add, add it there so that is it those are three different brushes that we use one is a filbert the second one is the round bar round brush and then the third one is the, the fun brush. So which one is your favorite? You can create more trees and um, create this one is really nice. This is very thick 
courses but um it's nice if you are creating a bigger um version of painting i like those make your painting really quick and fast but if you're just trying to practice try those um different brushes because you can you can experiment and um, see which one is your favorite you can also use a knife you know to um, create your leaves it's the same scenario you just do the dark darker section of your leaves first then the the color hue of what you're using then mix that color the next layer will be mix it with um, titanium white to make it whiter or lighter and then the last one would be white itself so usually four three to four colors is the mixture or the um, the variation of colors that I'm trying to, to portray so. So these are the three trees that we created. Let me know um, down below in the comment which one you like. Um, you can send me a message, follow me on Facebook if you like and show me your creation. If you try this, you can use different color uh, background, different color leaves experiment those which one is your favorite so there's a lot of ways to make threes um, different colors different strokes of the brushes and you can see which one is your favorite and which one is the fastest my favorite one is the filbert brush that's why most of my trees are filbert brush strokes it's quicker for me and it's faster so if I do trees I usually use filbert but you might like some other brushes instead so let me know down below comment if you like this share and thank you for joining me today's video um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in in the next one next lesson that we are going to create thank you so much and God bless All right, I'm using the canvas paper on this one but you can use a regular canvas if you want and paint different trees in a different canvas to practice but here are the product that we just did the blue trees the red tree and the pink one using a different type of brushes here are the colors that we just played so we have black, we have burnt umber, shana, and we have the rose, that's the rose, and we have the yellow, the cobalt blue, ocean green, just a light green, and cadmium red for this one. I think we used the portrait pink as well. Yep, we did. And of course the titanium white. add a um, if you like we can also add the swing on on those branches if you like so you can add a swing there and you can also add the person or a smaller version of the person in there if you want so. Yeah. So you can add any kind of stuff in your trees. If you like, you know? Does it need to be detailed or perfectly um something in your person just just something that looks like a person and they're playing around. So you can add that. 
or if you don't like to do the um, what do you call this one? The swing. You can add just your um, person standing. Okay, that's your that's your hair. Let's see, and that's your dress. Does it need to be? Again, yeah, it doesn't need to be detailed. That's your arm. Just like that, you can do another one for a person, um, a male, a kid, or a child, a male. So, um, those are just additions. Or you can even add a moon. There's a lot of ways that we can make our painting um, additional, just additional stuff going on in our painting. So you can add a moon if you want. You just grab your little tiny white in your um what call this one orange black mixed with your cobalt blue can you use a small amount of that. Then just mix it like that. And then just dab it with white. other side so one side is darker and the other side is lighter there will be a moon in there so more addition is better or you just like to do the trees that's fine you want an additional you know, reflection that's good as well so hope you like it thank you